Gerald Needs a Friend, written and illustrated by Robin Boyden. Gerald's garden was his whole world. He had everything he needed. He spent most of his days watering the plants and picking fruits and vegetables. With them, he made jams and pickles so he could taste the summer garden even in the winter. Every evening, Gerald had tea at five o'clock sharp. Then he made a chamomile tea. He read 20 pages of his book, brushed his teeth, and was in bed by seven o'clock on the dot. One morning, as usual, Gerald woke up early. He put on his clothes, brushed his fur, collected his grocery bags, and headed into town. But today was unusual. There was a new stall in the market, run by two excitable mice. Helping friends is our greatest pleasure. Our magic shop is filled with treasure. Old, new, borrowed, or blue, we have something just for you. From comfy shoes that fit just right, to a firefly lamp to cure night fright. The whole town seemed to be gathered around. Gerald felt flustered near all the busy people. Gerald watched in awe as the two mice found a new button for Hedgehog's coat, a way for a young duckling to fly, and a scooter for Little Turtle who dreamed of going fast. Soon, Gerald was the only one left in front of the mice's stall. Hello, sir. My name is Marcy, and I'm Marcel. What do you want more than anything? Nothing. I have everything I need, Gerald squeaked. Well, there's always room for more fun. Perhaps you'd like a new hobby, said Marcy. Or to learn a musical instrument, said Marcel. Or a new look, they sang. The costumes made Gerald feel shy. <laughs> then funny. Then cheerful. Then confident. And brave. And fantastic. Gerald was a pirate captain riding the high seas with First mate Marcy and deckhand Marcel. They searched for treasure, followed ancient maps, and dodged fearsome rivals. But just as they were about to encounter a pirate crew of stuffed toys, the town clock struck five. The cuckoo clock in the market struck five. All the clocks in town struck five. Oh no! I'm late! I'm late! Gerald cried. I always have tea at five o'clock sharp! When he got home, he had dinner in a rush, so he would have time to make chamomile tea before he read 20 pages of his book, then brushed his teeth in time to be in bed by seven o'clock on the dot. But for the first time in life, he couldn't sleep. Nothing he did felt like it normally did. He had a funny, flat feeling. In the morning, he went to pick some fruit for breakfast, but he wasn't hungry. But luckily, Gerald knew how to make himself feel cheerful. He gave Marcy and Marcel a picnic box carefully packed with all his beautiful jams and pickles. These are for you to say thank you for the most fun I've ever had. Cheryl, this is delicious. I've made plenty. In fact, there's enough for everybody at my house. The friends played and laughed all day and night. Jill realized having everything he needed was no fun without friends to share it with. The end. Big.